everyone and welcome back to Arma 3. Today we are going to be taking a look at the latest dev branch update and as you can see there's some new changes to the main menu. That's right we're starting off in the main menu today. Uh, we have all kinds of new stuff. We have this thing called prologue here. We have quick play. Don't know what that is. Not gonna mess with that yet. We have uh, uh, the editor right here and then we have options to go all over that and then we have tutorials. We have multiplayer and we have single player. Let's see if we have any of the new campaigns in yet. It doesn't look like we do. That's a little bit unfortunate. Well, anyways, also another thing I want to mention is that I will most definitely be getting to playing the campaign. Uh, look out for a series on that probably soon. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the editor real quick. And uh, we'll go ahead and come over here and uh, we will take... Actually, no, hold on. I'm going to go over, I'm going to get a mission loaded up, like a sandbox mission that I downloaded for Tanoa real quick. Once I get that loaded up, I'll be back with you guys, and we're going to take a look at some of the new weapons that just came out, uh, some of the new vehicles, and the new clothing. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, everyone, here we are on Tanoa. Let's go ahead and open up this menu thing here. Uh, we have a map here that we can check out. That's not too cool. That's not really part of this. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here to the arsenal, though, and we will uh, check this out. So if we come over here... Let's just go ahead and, you know what, let's actually get out of this real quick and let's just drop everything we have so that way we can start with a blank slate and just completely customize this guy. I am super excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and encourage you real quick to go ahead and drop a like on the video if uh, at any point I make you laugh or you just like the video and you're excited for Tanoa or anything like that. It really helps me out, so uh, don't be afraid to hit that like button. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and start with the new clothing. So we have some new bandit clothes. Those are pretty cool. Uh, these looks like they are, uh, the civilian stuff, so I'm just gonna kinda go through this pretty quickly. That's just regular fatigues. Okay, this is pretty cool. This looks like, okay, this is actually really cool. We have a tropical, uh, uniform here. Nice camouflage. I like the pattern on it. It's interesting. I feel like it's gonna work very well on this map. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here So what we have here. We have, uh, just a t-shirt one with just the camo pants. What else? We have CTRG. What is this? So here, okay, that's really cool. So I believe CTRG is like a special unit or something. I don't know. I'm not really too familiar with the army units or anything like that. But we have this one. What else do we have? We have the rolled up sleeves. We have uh, the stealth uniform with the t-shirt. We have the urban uniform. That's pretty cool. We have another urban uniform. And then let's see what else do we have down here. We have fatigues for CSAT. Kind of ugly. Looks like vomit. Uh -huh. Okay, this is really cool. This is something that I've been looking forward to. We have a new, a few new ghillie suits, it looks like. So we have this one, and then we have the NATO one right here. That is actually really cool. That looks like it's going to be very effective. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. Let's see what we have over here. We have a, uh, we have the police uniform. It looks like this is the version of the police on the island, I believe. Uh, there's a couple of them. And uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have another ghillie suit. We have another ghillie suit right here. Pretty self-explanatory. What well, I'm having a stroke over here. I apologize. We have officer fatigues down here. That's pretty cool. Uh, paramilitary. That sounds actually really cool. So there's quite a few things it looks like. Uh, don't really... That looks like some Rambo stuff right there. That is insane. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we have. We have a recon fatigues, Tropic. So that's pretty cool. Looks like the uh, NATO forces fatigues are tropical. Uh, what else do we have? We have a special purpose suit. Uh... I'm thinking this is something along the lines of a, uh, like a dive suit or something like that. That's what it looks like. It actually looks like one of those things that they record motion cap capture with for video games and stuff that you're wearing. But uh, what else do we have? We have some uh, sport clothes, some more sport clothes, uh, even more sport clothes. So that's pretty cool. Lots of options for civilians. Uh, syndicate uh, uniform. That's kind of cool. It looks interesting. Not something that I would personally be going into combat with but that's going to do it for that i think i'm going to come back up here though towards the top and i'm just going to go ahead and grab the i think i'm just going to go ahead and grab these because i like these a lot so that's pretty cool let's see what we have in the vest department we have a new carrier wow that actually looks really cool i'm so far i'm digging this update that looks like a great chest rig uh goes perfectly with the uniform what else do we have we have another one right here uh this doesn't look new at all uh, this is just the carrier light, no flag. Uh, maybe that is new. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really seem to have a camo, though. We have the Tropic Carrier uh, Light Tropic. That's very nice. We have a carrier rig, uh, green, no flag. I think it's just the versions with no flags that are new. Uh, we have a carrier rig, Tropic, uh, 
that's pretty nice. Pretty much the same as the one before. If we come down here, security rig special. This is like a more armored, beefed up version of it. Uh, that's always nice. And then what else do we have? We have come down here. We have a the police vest here. That's pretty cool. Nothing too special going on there. Uh, we have a uh, LBV grenadier harness to hold grenades and all that. So if you're going to gear, you should be into that. Uh, we have a CSAT version of that, it looks like, or it looks like they're actually all CSAT versions, not really too sure. Uh, we have a slash bandolier, uh, that's nothing really too special. We have a, oh, these are new, tactical chess rigs. These are, uh, these are new, I don't think these were in before, they might have been and I just didn't notice, so I apologize for that if that is the case. But, uh, looks like we have a few options here, these are actually pretty nice, I can see myself running a few of these on light operations. But, uh, I think I'm gonna go back up to the top here and... I don't want to go with that one. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking this one right here. This one looks more my style right here. So we're going to go with that. Uh, backpacks. Let's see here. So we have an assault backpack. That's just the standard backpack, tropical version. Um, that's a, like a tent in a bag right there. That's just, that's something you could live in. That looks like a hobbit home. Uh, we have another version of that. There's just like three versions of that. This one looks like the NATO. And then we obviously, we have the tropic version. So two CSAT, two um nato what else do we have we have a uh carryall that's a new carryall backpack that's pretty cool that's the hex version of it uh let's see i'm just looking for things with the a's next to it we have the field backpack nothing too special there that's marksman here we go okay so we have a viper harness this looks like it would be something for like parachuting or something it actually looks like so that's pretty cool looks like we have some more parachutes i will actually get to that in a minute once we uh, get the vehicles going we'll test out these parachute things so i'll go back and make sure to remember that uh, looks like these might not even be parachutes. I don't even know what these are, but these are some pretty crazy looking backpacks. So we have quite a few of these here, uh, all pretty cool. I think, I actually think I'm going to stick with this one because this just looks actually pretty cool. Makes it look all futuristic and stuff. Now here's what I'm excited about. I am excited to go into the clothing options and see these, or the helmet options. So we have, uh, the new helmet for CSAT, or one of them at least. We have the, uh, fleece, uh, beret... We have a new boonie hat. That looks very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Let's come down here. Here we go. So we have one of the new helmets. That's pretty cool. Looks like just a retextured version of one of the old ones. We have a crew helmet for CSAT. Uh, once again, pretty cool. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We have a defender helmet for CSAT again. Kind of stupid looking. Looks like a fly or something. I don't even know. Uh, enhanced combat helmet. This looks really cool. We might have to go with that. But let's see what else we have before we jump the gun. We have a uh, light combat helmet, tropical version. That's pretty cool. We have a military cap. Uh, what else do we have? We have another military cap. That looks like the NATO version of it. We have a, another protector helmet. That is really nice. Uh, what else? We have a skate helmet. So it looks like there might be skateboarding soon. I don't know. A special purpose helmet. Oh my god, this just looks like some Terminator stuff right here. This is like awesome. Just look at that. Hold on, I actually want to get out of this real quick and see, so, oh wow, so there's thermal vision on this, look at that, okay, let's go, to, yeah, we don't have any night vision on right now, so that's really cool, let's go ahead and go back into our arsenal here real quick, and we'll continue back over here after we get out of the animation for that, so there we go, we'll come back over to the arsenal, and here we go, so that's the CSAT version right there, uh, not the NATO, let's go to, here's another one, the same thing, hex, uh, except with the hex pattern, and here's the NATO helmet. Doesn't really have any night vision, though. This is pretty cool. It kind of looks like something out of, like, Halo, almost. Uh, kind of interesting to see here in Arma. We have some new goggles, it looks like. Those actually fit in really well. Those look really nice. Uh, so we might have to stick with some of those. We have a new balaclava. Uh, let's actually go ahead and remove the helmet real quick uh, so we can actually see these balaclava options. And we'll come back for that. But uh, that's all of those. And uh, if we come over here back down to the balaclavas, uh, we have that. Uh, we have that one, we have that one, and then it looks like these are just nicer balaclavas. Those are just the regular goggles. And let's see what we have night vision. Okay, so we do have some more night vision. So we're going to come back to that in just a sec after we get a helmet that we want. I'm thinking about going with the one that we just tried on down here that held the cool face mask. Yeah, most definitely this one. So we're going to go with that one. We're going to stick with, I think, these goggles here. And, uh, or unless we go with... Let's go with that. That one looks better because then we have something covering our neck and all that. That looks nice. Uh, what do we have here? 
And I just realized that this isn't the right camouflage, but whatever. We might have to go back and change our camo in a sec. So we do have some new night vision here. There's that. That's uh, CSAT. More CSAT. Uh, we have compact. Uh, that's urban. I don't know what that is. Uh, I think that is just more CSAT or something. I'm not really sure. These are the new standard MVGs. These look like they're NATO to me. Um, more NATO and more NATO, just different colors. And then obviously, oh, we do have some more new colored MVGs down here. That's pretty nice. But I think I'm going to go with these, uh, with those MVGs right there. Let's see if we have anything new down here. We have a laser designator, a new laser designator. That's pretty cool. We have another one right here that's khaki. So that's nice. Uh, do we have anything new on maps? Nope, nothing new down there, down here. Let's see what else we have. Do, maybe we'll have some new patches. Doesn't look like we have any new patches. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my loadout more towards the CTRG one real quick. And once I do that, I'll go ahead and get back with you guys in just a sec, all right? All right, so we are back. We have this set up here. And we're going to go ahead and start taking a look at some of the new weapons here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, AK-12 real quick. So we'll start with that. And uh, let's go ahead and jump out of the arsenal real quick. So this looks pretty cool. Also, change this up. Also, another thing I want to check real quick is that out. So it looks like we have some thermal imaging here, and then we have regular night vision. That's really cool. So those are some new stuff like that. Let's go ahead and take, take a fire test real quick. We'll go ahead and bump it down to single fire. Uh, not too much recoil. Nothing too crazy there. Bump it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy there. Oh, wait, never mind. That's full auto. Hold on. Let's go ahead and... Does it have a burst? It does. Okay, so it does have a burst. Let's go ahead and go full auto real quick. That's actually a really nice gun, not too crazy recoil, and it is 7.62, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and come back over here to the arsenal. We'll go down the list. Uh, that's the same gun, the AK-12. We'll take a look at the AKM now. So let's go ahead and see. We have single fire and full auto, it looks like. So nothing too crazy there. Uh, full auto, not really too bad. It's manageable, so that's really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and go back into the arsenal here, see what else we got to mess with. Uh, what do we have here? We have an AK, uh, U, an AK, AKS-74U. That would be nice to play with, so let's go ahead and check this out. So that's full auto. That's single fire. Full auto is very manageable. It's 5.45, so less than 5.56. Uh, nothing too crazy going on there. Let's go back into the arsenal again. What else do we have? We have a, uh, Car 95. This is actually looking pretty cool. Oh, also, let's go ahead and take a look at the new attachments real quick. So it looks like this is a new site here. This is a new site. That's a new site. So I'm going to go ahead and try that one out in just a sec. We have a new, that's pretty much the same DCS. I think that's the only new actual optic that's changing in the game. The other ones are just different camouflages. So this is a nice new optic. I'm really excited about this. Let's go black to match the color of the gun here. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is actually a really nice sight. I like this a lot. The uh, the full auto capabilities isn't too crazy. Nothing going on there. Uh, this is very manageable. It's 5.8. Yeah, that's really manageable. That'll take things out really quick. So uh, nothing really too crazy going on there. Let's go ahead and come back over to the arsenal again. And uh, we'll check this out. So let's see what else we have. We have another Car 95 GL. Car 95, 5.8, that looks like the same thing, it looks like. We have a Car 76, this looks interesting. Are these all the, these are the same guns, just a bunch of different camo options. So let's go ahead and take out the Car 76. We'll just keep the same optic on it. And uh, let's go ahead and try the single fire. Let's go prone for this. And actually, let's go ahead and stand up and, does it have full auto? No, it's just single fire. Is this the, uh, this might be the one with the under slung grenade launcher. I know there was one of those. So if we go bipod down. Yeah, this is a uh, definitely a heavy shooting rifle. It only shoots 6.5, but it, there is no full auto, it doesn't look like, which is okay. Not, nothing too uh, crazy there. That's really nice. like that gun a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here. And also, I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick little uh, view of the gun there so you can get a little bit of a better idea of what that looks like. And uh, I think you guys got a good view of the AKM and all that. So let's go ahead and come down here. Those are all the same. That's Marksman DLC. We have a Lynx. We have a new color Lynx. Uh, nothing crazy there. It's just the same gun that's been in the game. Uh, just a different camo. This is a new LMG. It looks like like this, like the way this looks a lot. It looks like a saw. So let's go ahead and get down on the. Or actually, no. Let's stand up first. We'll try this test and see how this works. Doesn't fire too fast. Let's go ahead and 
Oh, okay. So if you look up in the top right, I'm pointing on my screen thinking you can see it, which you can't. Uh, but if you look into the top right, if I press F, so I'll press F real quick. If you look up where the ammo is displayed, I'll press F. See, it changes into a different burst mode. So let's see. Yeah, that is much faster. So you can fire at different rates. This is a slower rate. This is way faster. That's actually really cool. Let's see if this bipod, I think, yeah, it does have a bipod. Let's see if this is actually functional. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can set this down like that. And now we can just mow fools down like that. And even with the bipod down, it still does get a little bit of recoil. So if we stand up and we, this, this is actually really manageable. It does shoot 5.56. Five, not bad. Uh, animations for the chain, that's really nice. Uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this gun. Let's go back into the arsenal and uh, see what's next on the list. We have, uh, we have an M3, is this a new? Oh, never mind. No, that's that's been in the game. That's just a dude's uh, camo on it. Let's see, we have a new camo on the MX. Uh, nothing too crazy going on there. Another new camo, another new camo, another new camo, and another new camo. Uh, this is new right here. Uh, wow, this is actually really cool. This is like a little MP5 here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a, uh, let's go ahead and slap one of you on. How about that? Or let's go black and slap that on. Uh, we'll put this on this thing and check this out. Okay, yeah, this is a 9mm. You can clearly tell it's a 9mm. Let's go ahead and go full auto. Very manageable. Obviously, it's only a 9mm. It doesn't shoot anything really crazy like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and drop. We're not even going to drop that. We don't even need to drop it. Let's go ahead and go back into our arsenal real quick. Alright, everyone, we're back. Sorry about that little cut there. Uh, I had to take care of a few things, but, uh, we are back, and we're going to be taking a look at the um, HK, or the Spar, the HK416, seems legit. That's the real-life version of it. We're going to be taking a look at the Spar-16. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a shooting test real quick. Let's go ahead and single fire. Pretty cool, pretty cool, not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and try the full auto. Full auto is definitely manageable, nothing too crazy there. And then bipod, obviously, it will behave as, again, with the bipod wood on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if there's any crazy attachments for this real quick. Uh, I don't think there's going to be just the new side and all that. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything new down there. We have a new suppressor, new colored suppressor. That's pretty cool. Uh, but nothing really too crazy going on there. Uh, let's go down and check out the Spar 17. Oh, wait, no, we have one with a drum mag. I'm sorry. Let's check this out real quick. This looks really cool. So we're not going to keep the suppressor on it. We're just going to go... Oh, it's the wrong one. We're just going to go without the suppressor. Let's go ahead and take a, a knee down here. Or actually, let's not test out the bipod yet. Let's try single fire. It looks like it's just the same, except with the drum mag. Let's try and go full auto. Nothing really too crazy there. And now let's go ahead and, and uh, just go full auto with that. Yeah, no recoil at all. Non-existent, which is really awesome. So if we come over here, yeah, look, th all those shots are hitting literally like within inches of each other. So nothing really too crazy there. The rate of fire on it is actually not really that bad at all. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and do it for the 16. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, 17 here. I'm very excited about the 17. Uh, it's the 7.62 variant of the same gun. Uh, so it is a little bit more powerful, but of course that is, uh, that is all right. So we're going to go ahead and keep the same optic on it. Uh, not going to really put any more attachments on it. Let's go ahead and try single fire. Nothing too crazy going on over there. Let's see if there's any different sound effect. There's a little bit of a different sound effect in third person. And then now let's try full auto. Definitely a lot of recoil, hard to manage. So uh, I don't recommend full auto with this gun. This is more of a designated marksman rifle. Now I would assume if we went prone and we put that down, put our bipod down. Yeah, it shoots relatively straight. Doesn't really go anywhere. So that's nice. Um... That's the 17. I don't know if that's the last gun or not. I keep pressing escape trying to get in that menu when it's over here. But let's check out what else we have in the gun department. We have the Type... What is this? The Type 115 with different camouflages on it. That's pretty cool. We're just going to go with the black one. Uh, is this the one that... It is the one with the uh, 50 cal at the bottom of it. So there's all kinds of different attachments. We're just going to keep that attachment. And then let's just come over here real quick and grab our... Uh, our ammo a little bit of ammo for this so that way we can mess around with it so we'll go ahead and fire this so that's the regular that's full auto right there and then we'll go ahead and go prone and check this out again uh in the prone position no recoil as figured so the recoil is definitely manageable on this it is a 6.5 and now if we come over here to this we have the uh we have this crazy this crazy crazy gun right here so there's the 50 cal uh, to give you a damage test real quick, uh, we're going to go ahead and spawn a vehicle real quick. I don't know if I can. 
uh, this is really weird trying to spawn something. So let's just come over here to CSAT and let's just go ahead and grab a Taru spawn it right there and then we will come over here. Is this do we do have Zeus? Okay, that's so that is good. We should be able to not move that at all. <laughs> okay. Um we can't move that at all, so once we destroy it, it's destroyed. So there's one hit, two hits, three hits, four hits, and I think it just wanted a damage state right there. Yeah, it is most definitely damaged. Five hits, and we're going to get blown up if this thing blows up. But let's go ahead and see how this uh, performs. Let's. Uh, there's another hit, another hit. Well, okay, yep, that, uh, that'll that do it. So it took about eight hits right there <laughs> to blow that up. And uh, so this thing is pretty overpowered. The underbarrel attachment, I would assume it's not really too accurate as it does to appear to have not too long of a barrel for 50 cal. So that's probably balanced it a little bit. Uh, nothing, okay, I'm, I was going to say nothing really too crazy there, but that was pretty crazy. So, I think that's the last gun. Yeah, that's going to be the last gun, so I'm just going to go and grab myself a, uh, a 416 as a, uh, placeholder here and get rid of this stupid bipod. I don't want a bipod on it. There we go, and then I'm just going to customize this a little bit to my likings, and bada bing, bada boom, now we have one with a suppressor. Yeah, that, that, that will work for me. Alright, so, uh, that's pretty much that. So now let's come over here. Let's test out some of the new vehicles. So we'll come over here to garage, and then we will we'll start with the NATO. We'll show NATO a little love. I don't even know if they're if the vehicles are in here right now. It doesn't look like they are. They might be though. Oh, NATO Pacific. Oh, okay. Hello. Here we go. So we have infantry. Okay. So we have a blackfish right here. So I uh, move in. Yes. Okay. So we have, okay, so we're in the blackfish here, or the bla yeah, the blackfish here. This is really cool. So this is the, uh, this is the armed variant. So we have a little bit here. So let's actually go ahead and turn the engine on and let's go ahead and test this out a little bit. I'm very excited. So we're going to start off with a flight here. Uh, this thing does turn pretty easily. Uh, this is actually a really nice aircraft. The interior is pretty nice. Looks like it sold four p or three people in here and then a gunner in the back and then obviously probably quite a few people in the uh in the very back seat there so we're going to continue we have multiple gunners over here so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and just go down to this uh runway here we could probably do vertical takeoff and landing which is probably what we will do here in a sec so we're going to go ahead and actually just do that uh we'll go ahead and go auto hover on and now we can actually go ahead and take care of our vertical takeoff and landing features right there and wow this is actually really cool the thing flies very beefy it doesn't really have a very high ascent rate so we're gonna go ahead and retract our landing gear and let's go for a little flight here and uh see how this thing flies this is definitely very interesting very high detail cockpit uh i like the uh the little screen right there that's pretty nice uh a little nice feature for the gunner and things like that so you can see where the gun's pointing or where the gun's looking um i think that what this uh aircraft is made for here i think it's made for high altitude flying and basically support missions what it looks like the arm version at least so we're going to go ahead and turn off auto hover and we will turn this thing into an aircraft let's go ahead and watch how uh how it reacts here i think you need to reach a certain speed i would assume it's something around like 150 or something we'll see here in a second though so we're just going to keep going and uh see how this thing uh transitions into uh airplane mode if you will so Let's go, okay, so it looks like it transitions right around 150, 160 maybe, so uh, that's pretty cool. So we're now in airplane mode, if you will, and uh, we're going to go ahead and gain a little bit of altitude, and uh, I want to, uh, I really want to go ahead and go into the, uh, go into the gunner seat here, so let's go ahead and go into, there, it looks like there's a left and a right gunner, I'm not really too sure about that, I don't know, uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and go into the left gunner seat though, and uh we can actually go ahead and go into first person. Okay, yeah, this thing is going down. Okay, uh, pilot seat. Hello. Let's see if we can pull this up. Yeah, okay, so we're probably going to have to test fire this from the ground as we don't really have the ability to fly right now. So we're going to flip this thing around. And this thing, uh, I, the visibility in this cockpit actually is really nice. This is a very nice aircraft. I like it a lot. And uh, we're not going to go ahead and test out any, all of them, but we're going to go ahead and spawn them all in and check them out a little bit, go and open the ramp if we can. I think we would probably be able to. It makes sense that we would be able to. So we're going to slow down a little bit. We have the flaps option, obviously, but we're going to go ahead and land this thing at the airport once again that we just departed for, uh, or departed from, rather. Where are, where, where are, there it is. Uh, where is the airport? It looks like it's right here. So we're just going to go ahead and put a marker right there. We're 1.8 clicks, 1 .8 clicks away. 
and we need to slow down a little bit. And uh, I think I'm going to try landing it without going into auto hover. This is not going to probably go well because uh, this is my first time flying this. So this will be interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and try and land this. We're not even lined up with the runway yet. But uh, also, we do have civilian vehicles that we need to check out as well. So we can't forget about that. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and come into for a landing here. We're going to check out all the NATO ones, and then we're going to earn all the NATO vehicles, and then we will check out all the uh, CSAT vehicles, and then last but certainly not least, the new civilian vehicles, as I am very excited for all of those. You know, we're just going to miss the landing zone. Landing zone, there it is. We're going to miss the runway, so we might as well just go and do, uh, go into our auto hover here and bring in as a uh, helicopter style, if you will. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but uh, it is a VTOL aircraft, so that means vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, uh, but as well, you can function it as an airplane as well. So that is uh, very nice. We're just gonna go ahead and set this thing down, like over here in this corner and forget about it. But uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and set this down right here. And also I wanna take a look inside and I just put, set it down on the dirt pretty hard, so it can take a little bit of a beating. Uh, but can we open any of these? Uh, any of these doors here it doesn't look like we can so we're gonna go ahead come over here uh, back into this menu right here and we are gonna want to get away from that a little bit so we have a little bit of space to toy with this but uh, let's go ahead and check this out now again we'll come back over to the garage and uh, we have our NATO and Pacific uh, we have infantry transport and uh, vehicle transport infantry transport is just gonna be an unarmed version of that let's check out the uh, non-infantry transport let's check out the vehicle transport i would assume you have to get inside to actually uh access the uh access the uh what's it called i'm trying to think of the name to make the ramp open yeah here we go open ramp there we go oh wow so yeah you can definitely transport vehicles in here so we'll go ahead and it looks like there's multiple seats there's a bunch of passenger seats that's pretty cool so let's go to jump out real quick and we will check this out uh we'll walk inside and uh see how this functions and all that uh looks like it does not look like actually we can walk inside that's a little bit of a bug that i think they may need to fix yeah uh we des we definitely can't get up in there yet so uh i don't really know what's blocking us it's just kind of we're just kind of no clipping through it and it's not really anything i can do about it so unfortunately right now that is not working hopefully uh bohemia will fix that but keep in mind this still is an early alpha and there is a little bit i think they have until july 11th to fix all these issues that's the new planned release date so uh yeah so stay tuned for that uh but we're gonna go ahead and go back in our garage again and we're not gonna spawn another one of those crazy uh black fishes or whatever you want to call them uh, those are just all the new camouflage versions of the tanks and all that. I don't think there's any new tanks. Uh, we have a new helicopter. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, cars-wise, we have a Prowler. Uh, let's go to move into this. This is the armed version. And, uh, we'll take a look at both of these. This is actually really cool. Let's see how this handles. Let's try going over this dirt mound here where this thing exploded. Okay, yeah, that went over that, no problem. This is... This looks like it's going to be easy to flip, though. That's one thing that I'm concerned about. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a loose suspension. Um, but this is actually really nice. Let's go ahead and see what we can get the top speed up to on the flat runway here. It looks like it's maxing out at around 100 and I'd say probably 120. Nope, not even. Uh, 130. All right, we're going to have to clearly flip around here and keep this thing going. So we're going to get a go. Get a go. We're going to get going at... Uh, like 60 back there and let's see how far we can get it going by the end of the runway and uh, let's see how fast we can get it going right now we're at 120 uh, coming up on 130 we'll reach 140 yep 140 uh, 150 160 170 okay yeah I'm not gonna go over the edge of the runway there but uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, the new gun so we'll go ahead and go to the gunner seat real quick uh, we have a gun. Let's see what kind of uh, functions we have here. We have night vision and just night vision. So, and it's an MK30. So we're just gonna go ahead and shoot that big Bertha right over there. And I don't think it's gonna blow up. We'll go ahead and shoot the control tower a little bit. We can obviously shoot out the windows. That's pretty cool. Uh, nothing really too crazy going on there. Let's go ahead and commander seat. And it looks like we have a uh, a handheld gun here. It looks like it's a uh, SPMG338. Okay. Uh, nothing really too crazy there. Uh, no rate of fire changes, and I forgot to check that on the gunner seat. Let's go ahead and see if we can change the rate of fire up here. Doesn't look like we can. All right, uh, nothing too crazy going on over there. Uh, let's go ahead and come back into the vehicle menu, and let's see what else we got to... Not arsenal, vehicle menu. Let's go ahead and see what else we got to play with. 
Uh, we have CTRG, uh, Ghost Hawk, Tropic, not really. Uh, Crowder Light, no, that just looks like the same thing. I want to check out this Tropic th uh, Ghost Hawk, though. So we'll just go, oh, wow, that is really cool. Okay, so there's a camo variant of the Ghost Hawk right there. That actually looks really nice. I probably will find myself flying that quite a bit. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, that's just standard Ghost Hawk, by the way, so we're not going to get an in-fly that. Uh, we have Grenadiers. We have just an off-road. I would assume it's just a blue off-road on it, um, so we're not going to spawn that. Uh, and then we have the unarmed variant, with it, which is just going to be the one without the guns, so nothing really too crazy going on there. Uh, CTRG, and then anything new over in this department. It doesn't look like there is. Um, nope, nothing crazy in there. Uh, do we have any new ships or anything over here? Uh, we have a speedboat. Is that new? No, that's not new. Okay. Uh, we're not going to spawn that. Uh, what else do we have? Nope, that's about it, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and get to, the, um, get to the Falcon over here. So we'll spawn this. Wow, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. This just looks so aggressive. And I actually need to go over and get myself a UEV terminal real quick from the, uh, from the arsenal here. So we'll go ahead come over here to... There it is, NATO. All right, we're good. And we should be able to come up over here, connect UAV or connect terminal to UAV. And we should be able to take the UAV controls. And if we go into third person, here we go. We have 120 flares. We have laser marker. We have scalpel. Okay, we have all kinds of stuff to toy with. So we'll just go ahead and stick it at laser marker for right now. We'll go ahead and engine on. And then we can also take the turret controls, which is really cool. So it looks like there will be an autopilot feature with this UAV as usual. I'm curious to see how this thing flies. Uh, it flies interestingly. It's very touchy, it seems like. So is, I don't think we can put the gear up, can we? Oh, we can. Okay, so the front gear can come up. That's pretty cool. This thing flies really interestingly. It's really touchy. It's almost like a... I mean, it is a remote... It's a really big remote control helicopter, essentially. But this flies actually really weird. Uh, I don't know. I, th I feel like this is going to take a little while to get used to. It's uh, very it's very nimble and uh, agile. So that's pretty nice. That's going to be nice for uh, quick swoops in and gun runs and things like that and close air support. But... Uh, it is very nimble and things like that, and it looks like the camera, we can get the camera to move. Maybe not. I don't know. Can we? No, it doesn't look like we can. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take up the uh, turret controls and see how this goes. So we have a laser marker. That's pretty standard. We have a scalpel. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and destroy the big hut right there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to want to bring that over there. Okay, maybe we can't destroy the big hut. Uh, we need to re-angle this, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take the UAV controls, uh, angle it, like, right there. There we go, that'll, that'll look like it. I'm having a stroke over here, Jesus, what am I talking about? That'll, la 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 Alright, uh, let's go ahead and try firing it at it now. By the way, this is laser guided, so you, wherever you look, it will, uh, fire, which is pretty nice. There we go. Oh, wow, that's, uh, some relatively nice revolution right there. Let's go ahead and take out that, okay, we're out of those. Uh, what else do we have? These are just DARS, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do much in there. It looks like these just fire directly forward, and if we... Yeah, these are just going to fire directly forward, and those have a very insane rate of fire. So we're going to take the UAV controls, and we are just going to go ahead and try to land this thing. I don't really know how that's going to work out. It is already very touchy. I don't really like the way this thing handles, but it definitely looks cool. And I feel like once you get to know it a little bit and get familiar with the aircraft, you will be able to fly it uh, very effectively. And uh, I most definitely will probably eventually. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, though. Uh, it just came out today. So this is my first time flying it. But I'm sure after a little bit of practice, uh, you will be able to get the hang of it. So uh, very nice UAV, new UAV edition for the uh, NATO forces. Uh, definitely looking forward to using that in operations. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the CSAT stuff the second we set this thing down. And we'll just go engine off and uh, release UAV controls. So there we go. Uh, there's that over there. We'll come over here to the back to the garage and uh, let's I think that's gonna, yeah That's gonna be everything for that. Let's go ahead and come over here to op four and See set. I don't think we have any new that's not new. No, that's been in for a while So we can close that. Uh, do we have any new car? Actually, hold on. What do we have over here? We don't have anything We have this. What is this? Uh, never mind. That's uh, that's been in for a while <laughs> we don't want that. Uh, what else do we have? I'm trying to find uh, some new stuff we have. I don't look like there's anything new in here. Maybe we have to go down a little bit. Oh, CSAT Pacific. Here we go. So we have this uh, 
infantry and vehicle transport of this crazy aircraft right here. Uh, unable to spawn in your other vehicles. Okay, fine. I'll do it over here. Uh, we also will go fly this around. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up, get in this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. Where is it? Yeah, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of this real quick. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take a flight in you really quick. Oh, wow. It looks like a... Uh, kind of reminds me of a hind. It looks like we have a gunner seat. And then... Yeah, we do have a gunner seat. Let's jump in this real quick first. This looks actually really cool. Looking forward to using this. Let's just go to and take a shot at the... Okay, that fires really quick. Oh, it's a five-round burst. Okay. And then we have rockets over here. We have a scalpel that goes where we want it to fire. And then we have sky fire, obviously. Uh, that's pr pretty, pretty lethal, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and jump out, get in the pilot seat real quick, and uh, we'll go ahead and fly this thing around, see how it handles. So this looks like it's going to be definitely a game-changing vehicle right here for the CSAT forces. And uh, th I think they definitely did a good job at balancing this with the um, with the NATO aircraft. The NATO aircraft is more, the armed version of it at least, is more of a uh, support vehicle and uh, isn't really going to do much uh, for attacking-wise. This looks like more of an aggressive uh, balls to the walls, if you will, go out and attack everything you see kind of vehicle. So we're just going to go ahead, get going on this runway here, and we'll go ahead and turn on auto hover like that. And here we go. So now we're in the, uh, the uh, auto hover stages, and we're going to go and put our gear up. This is, uh, it doesn't, it's not as nimble as I thought it would be. It's actually, uh, it's kind of heavy. It's, it almost handles like the, uh, like it's a NATO counterpart. So we're going to go auto hover off, see if that changes anything. Now this makes it a little bit more nimble. So this is almost, it's almost like a jet now. So this is very interesting. Uh, it's definitely more nimble now. Um, it's, it's still, uh, it has its, it's not like a fighter jet, I guess what I'm trying to say. It still has its limitations, and it's a nice aircraft. I don't really see myself using this mostly because I don't play CSAT unless it was something in, like, a life mod, which I don't really see it coming to be, uh, as life mods don't really focus on this sort of uh, on this sort of vehicle because of its armed things and stuff like that. So we're just going to go ahead and set this thing down on the, uh, on the dirt here, and uh, we'll go ahead and move on to our next vehicle in just a moment. All right, everyone, we are back. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the next vehicle on our list here. So we're going to go back down to the Pacific. Uh, we have the infantry transport, just going to be an unarmed version of the one that we just tried out. So not really going to go into up there. Nothing really too crazy there, just some new textures on those. Uh, we have a new UAV, so we might have to check that out in just a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and come down to cars, though. I believe there's going to be a new car uh, somewhere around here. It's the Here it is. So it's this thing right here. So we're going to just go ahead and spawn into this. And it's, it has a similar layout to the effort. It looks like the way the seating is set up. Uh, we have a gunner in the middle, and then obviously the driver's in the middle, and we have passengers on both left and right. Not really too easy to access the driver's seat. It looks like not really uh, ergonomically designed, but nonetheless, it is a, uh, a good vehicle. So the acceleration on this one doesn't seem anywhere near as quick as it was on the uh, NATO counterpart of this vehicle. Also, another thing that they probably should look into fixing is getting those wheels out of the ground, uh, but that's a quick fix that uh, they can do before release. So that'll probably be fixed in the next coming days uh, on the developmental branch. But uh, it looks like our speed got up to about 130 something there, almost 140. So we're gonna go and see what we can get our max speed up to on this vehicle. The acceleration is not as quick as it was on the other one, I don't believe. So or on the NATO vehicles, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and try to keep going, uh, see how fast we can get it. Yeah, we're already capping out around 150. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get anywhere. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere near as close to, yeah, it looked like it capped out at 162 there, which wasn't too great. Let's go ahead and jump into the gunner seat, though. Check this thing out. We have a minigun here, so let's go ahead and just, uh, let's blow this thing up over here. Uh, this mouse is inverted. That is kind of weird. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not inverted. It's just, it, it's just weird because I'm used. To, I think the other one was inverted, but oh well, whatever. Let's just go ahead and shoot this. See how long it takes to uh, get that done. Don't look like it's really putting a dent in it. This gun does not make a lot of noise, by the way. Okay, yes, it does. My volume is just down. What is my volume at? Actually, hold on. I apologize for this. Okay, that was why it's really quiet. That's a little bit better. Yeah. So when you're in first person, it's nowhere near as loud. I'm just gonna try to shoot this thing. See if I can get it to blow up. It doesn't really look like it wants to. I'm going to empty this last round of 500 because it does go pretty quick. And uh, if it doesn't blow up with this, then I'm just going to assume it won't blow up at all. So, Which it will blow up, obviously, but 
Uh, I think it's going to take a little bit more than that. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much that right there. I don't really know. I'm not going to bother getting in it. But that's that vehicle. Just obviously there's going to be an unarmed version of that as well, uh, just without the gun on it. So that's nothing really too crazy going on there. Don't look like we have any new boats. Just uh, retextured old ones and supports. Nothing crazy there. Um, the one thing I do want to try out, though, is the new drone. So we will... Oh, wait, no, we don't want to spawn in that. Uh, we'll go ahead and place that down right there. And I don't know if we're going to be able to connect to it with this NATO terminal. Doesn't look like we are. So we're going to have to come over here to the arsenal real quick and uh, get ourselves a correct terminal. So here we go. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a CSAT terminal. And we should not be able to connect to it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, can we come over here and do it again? Did we just not get the right one? Let's see here. Is that better? All right, well, I'm going to need to figure this out, so I'm going to go ahead and figure this out real quick, and I'll cut to when I get it working. All right, so I had to jump over the CSAT team really quick. Uh, that's all right, though, so we're just going to go ahead and get this spawned in. So uh, we're going to come over here real quick uh, to Op4, come over to the P uh, CSAT Pacific, and go ahead and grab the autonomous Venguhaj. Uh, I don't speak Russian. <laughs> um we can also come over here and go and grab ourselves a uh, a terminal for this. So there we go. So we should have our terminal now, and we should be able to connect to it via terminal. So there we go. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit and uh, take controls of the UAV. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on real quick. Uh, first person, pretty standard as normal drones. This is the first CSAT aerial drone, by the way, I should add. So that's pretty cool. Uh, new revolutions in Arma. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and taxi over the runway here, r taxi right over here, and uh, we will go ahead and try to take this thing off. It looks like we're going to need a little bit of a runway for this because it doesn't look like it gets going too fast. So we're probably going to want to slow down as well because it does not look like we're going to want to turn. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Dead. Dead. There you have it. So don't do what I just did. Don't exactly know how it blew up, but it blew up. So we need to get another one. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here real quick. Nope. Wrong one. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this, and we will, um, attach it really quick, connect UAV to terminal, and that one suffered a, um, upsetting fate, so we'll go ahead and jump in here real quick, and we will just run over to this one, right, this entrance to the runway right here, or this taxiway, and we'll shoot up the runway, let's go ahead and get a little bit of throttle going on this thing, get this thing going, I don't really like the way this thing looks, I don't like the way it flies either, it's very sensitive, and kind of weird. I don't really like any of the drones in Arma for that matter. I'm just not really a drone kind of person. Sure, they have their benefits and they are most definitely useful, but it's just not really that and another one blown up. Okay, well, that's a wrap. <laughs> Alright, no, I'm, I'm going to give it one more shot. If it blows up again, then I'm done. If it blows up again, I'm done because it's just not working right now for me. I'm going to try to go a little bit slower and, uh, We'll try to take off one more time, but if it doesn't work this time, well, then uh, this was a short-lived UAV. CSAT needs to work out their design flaws because I'm not entirely sure what is blowing this drone up, but clearly it's having some issues over here trying to figure its life out. But you know what? Whatever it is what it is, let's go ahead and continue to taxi. We'll go ahead and take it a little bit slower on the turn. I'm thinking that might have been one of the issues, but still, I wasn't really even going that fast, so... If you need to scramble this thing in a hurry, well, your guys are probably going to die if you need to get somewhere quick. Because it does not work as well as it should. So we're not even going really that fast. If we blow up again, then Bohemia uh, ripped your new concoction of a CSAT aircraft. Because it does not work right. Uh, we're going to speed up a little bit though. And uh, we'll try to take off this time. And see how things work. We're going to wait till we get to at least 110, hopefully. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. So let's try to pull back up. So we're going to go ahead and put our uh, gear up. And the back wheels will not go up. They are fixed landing gear. Kind of it, kind of ugly, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, it is what it is. I don't really see myself using this thing too much. As it's not exactly aesthetically pleasing. Nor very effective. And it blew up three times on me when I tried to take it off. Uh, not an issue with the drone, just user error and me getting frustrated with it. But let's go ahead and take off a little bit more. We're going to end up stalling this thing. I'm calling it right now. But uh, let's go ahead and take the turret controls and uh, see how this thing works. You're just going to orbit right there. Uh, we have a uh, Gian 
which is maybe a, I don't even know, d d turret. You need to chill, all right? You need to chill. I don't think this is a lock-on. I think this is just a, uh, I don't even know. That just, that just went gone. What, excuse me? And no, did not want to do that. Uh, take QAV controls. Yeah, get me back towards the location that I need to go without killing the UAV. And yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to turn on manual fire. And we're going to try this out a little bit better. So there we go. Uh, that gave us a sizable explosion. Uh, is that really the only... Those were the only missiles we had. Okay, well, rip to this UAV. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to the next part. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and pull up some of the new civilian stuff. I believe that's going to do everything for uh, NATO and all that. I don't think we have anything. Oh, Syndicat. Do we have a... What is this? Oh, okay. So we do have a new aircraft here for the Syndicat, whatever that is. So we're let's actually jump in this. I think this is just a civilian... Ver or the militarized version, if you will, of the civilian aircraft. But we'll go ahead and take a flight in this, and we'll fly the civilian one as well. This is like a... Um, an independent force or whatever, or the independent force for the island. My legs are a little bit cramped down there, but that's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and begin flying this thing. I'm very excited to fly this. The interior is highly detailed. Kudos to you, Bohemia. Very nice interior. Uh, no complaints that on that end of the spectrum. Exterior, very nice. I can definitely see myself flying one of these, and I didn't realize how fast I was going to rip to the... There we go. Okay, apparently, I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is like just something buggy about it or what, but there is, uh, there are some issues that they need to work out with their vehicles exploding, because it's kind of annoying, just saying, uh, but we'll go ahead and come back over here, do we have an M900 too? We do, uh, that's just, oh, that's one without the doors, that's kind of cool, okay, so there's that, uh, let's go, go back in here real quick though, I don't really have anything to do with the M900, let's just go ahead and come over here, spawn you, and hopefully you'll work, because if you don't work, well, then I'm going to punch you in the face. But I'm not, because I can't punch you in the face. This is the Caesar BBT. I'm sorry, BTT, not BBT. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in this real quick. And we're just going to go down to not that end of the runway, because there's an explosion over there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and come down over to right in front of us and kind of work our way over there and hopefully take this thing off. But uh, I like the way this the interior is. It looks like there's different variants of the interior because the other one was like a brown color or whatever. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where this turns. Don't really see what's making this vehicle turn or whatever. I wonder if it's just the, the flaps or whatever. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and kind of drift it. I think what was what my issue was before is I was drifting it. But we're going to go ahead flaps down all the way, and uh, we'll go ahead and let this thing just take off by itself. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this speed is before it starts to lift off. It looks like it's about 120, so that's pretty cool. It doesn't look like we can actually put our gear up. Yeah, no, we can't put our gear up. It is fixed landing gear. That's all right, though. Uh, I like this aircraft a lot. We're going to go and put our flaps all the way up, though, and uh, we don't really have too many options uh, in control-wise, but uh, this thing handles like it looks like it should. It's just a civilian-grade aircraft that's the military probably, or that their local fighting force probably stole, so nothing too crazy going on over here. Uh, but it is nonetheless a very nice aircraft. So we're going to continue flying it. We're just going to go in for a little bit of a low approach here. It's almost like a stunt plane almost is how it kind of behaves. It's kind of interesting. I like it a lot. Um, the handling on it is very nimble, and uh, I like it a lot. The speed on it, the top speed is not bad at all. We're going to go in and just do a quick roll, I guess. I don't even know what that was. But... Uh, Let's see what it, what, what, how it acts when it stalls out. I want to see if I can... Re yeah, we're stalling right now. So we're stalling right now. We're falling out of the sky. And let's just go ahead and see if we can get this thing going again. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't really take much to pull out of a stall. Uh, that was pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and test a landing on this thing, see how that works out. And uh, also, I don't know if I'm going to uh, continue Flight Fridays or not. But if I do, uh, be looking out for... Uh, for these uh, new aircraft coming. The reason I say I probably won't continue it is because it just really hasn't been seen as much support as some of my other videos, like my LSPD car sees a little bit more support. And my latest video, GTA Online, got a lot of support. Thank you guys, you've been killing it on that. 
I uh, really do appreciate that. There is definitely coming more of that. I have like 10 hours, of, not even 10 hours, uh, like five hours of footage backed up on that. And that was a terrible approach on my part, but we're just going to go and try and land this thing anyways on a Burma dirt. Uh, we have no runway to work with, but we're probably going to blow up. Yeah, this aircraft does not work right. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, dead. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go and respawn. That's that aircraft. Uh, we'll go ahead and see what else they have in this uh little section over here but uh let's go ahead and respawn real quick let's see if they have anything else that is uh worth taking a look at over here in the uh syndicate section cars Ooh, what's an mv4 oh this is the new jeep okay oh this is like the uh like the unarmed like rebel version and all that that's pretty cool let's go ahead and see how this handles i would assume it handles the same uh very nice interior like this uh this is actually one of the vehicles that i was most looking forward to it's like a turd brown that's kind of nice not really uh get a new paint job guys uh that does not have any durability <laughs> um so we'll go ahead and take a look more of that in the civilian section uh but let's go ahead and see what else we have in the garage for these guys real quick we have a ship we have an assault boat we have a rib and an assault boat i want to take a look at the rib and the assault boat so let's go ahead and just spawn it right here we're not going to drive it or anything uh Okay, what about you? Okay, apparently we can't spawn you there. We need to spawn you over here. Uh, you're going to get stubborn with me, I see. So let's just go ahead and spawn the assault boat real quick. Uh, nothing too crazy. Pretty standard stuff. And then, not the arsenal. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here to the garage. And check out the other boat. I want to see the rib. The rib is uh, pretty cool. Uh, nothing really too crazy here. That's a nice model. like it a lot. Can't see myself using that on some ops. But uh, other than that, that looks like it's going to do it for that faction. Let's go ahead and come over here to civilian side of things. Check out the aircraft. Uh, we have a racing one and we have a regular one. So we'll go ahead and spawn the regular one. So that's the regular one that we just flew. All right. And then let's go ahead and come over here and let's check out the racing one. I wonder if the racing one's any different. I don't really know if it's going to be. But we will see, and then obviously you have 900. Oh yeah, it is a little bit different, it actually looks like. I'm Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see if it handles any different. We're going to jump in. Maybe it's a little bit more nimble, things like that. I don't know. This one looks like it has a black interior. No, it has the white with black seat interior that we had just a second ago. <clears throat> Excuse me, had to clear my throat real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and try taking this one off, see if it uh, handles any differently. I'm not thinking it will. That's the exact same aircraft that we just had on the, uh, on the other independent faction i think it's called i don't know something like that we're going a little bit quick we want to slow down so we don't blow this thing up you know like we did every other aircraft <laughs> that we've showed off so far but uh we'll go ahead and taxi onto the runway here and uh let's go ahead and see how this thing uh will take off here so so far the speed is not bad at all we're just gonna go and not even go bother flaps down we're just gonna go and pull up when we want to pull up and i'm not really noticing any much of a difference does the gear go up on this one doesn't look like it does uh i'm not really seeing anything too crazy it seems about the same actually it might be a little bit more nimble uh hard to tell the visibility in the first person though isn't bad it could be better uh but it is nice it's interesting to say the least i don't really know how i like the way it reacts or not uh it's i think it's the same actually it feels about the same so uh nothing really too special there let's actually go ahead and try to land this one though uh, we're going to want to go flaps down for this. Oh, that's cool. It has like a little uh, sound effect. If we can slow down enough to get this thing on the ground, we're probably going to end up blowing it up again. I'm just kind of doing this a little bit rushed, so uh, kind of bear with me there. But we're already out of runway. So we're. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shoot another approach real quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut to where we're about to land, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we're coming up in an approach here. We're going to go ahead and get over a little bit more here. And, uh, and then we'll kind of try to settle it down onto the runway here. But we're definitely going to want to slow down a little bit. Yeah, we were definitely off course. That did not really help us at all, the marker that I put down. But we should be able to get it back over a little bit. It looks like this aircraft is relatively maneuverable. And we should be able to get it over if we get enough speed. Or not enough speed. Um, get it slowed down enough to the right speed. And we should be able to bring it down. I'm going to hit a big berm here in just a sec. Uh, right up above us. Or right up ahead of us. But we need to set this thing down. This thing does not want to descend at all. Uh, we were able to set it down. I think we might have sustained a little bit of damage. But we, nonetheless, we were able to do a safe landing. Uh, nothing really too crazy going on there. And I'm going to blow this thing up. Just watch. 
All right, so that's going to do it for that one. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and eject out of that and get run over by the wing. So there we go. That can go ahead and stay there for eternity. And are you going to let me stand up for... Yeah, there we go. All right. Also, another thing I just realized, I didn't check out any of the other weapons. Uh, so we're going to do that at the end here in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the new car real quick. Um before I go ahead and do that. So here's the uh, here's the new Jeep. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of off-roading real quick, see how this thing works out. Um, kinda cool. I'm looking forward to using this uh, in like a life mod or something like that. Uh, so that will be definitely pretty cool. Also stay tuned for uh, a Tanoa Life uh, series possibly coming out soon. Don't know exactly when. Uh, I'm currently with the community that's working on putting up a server, so that'll probably be up in a couple of hours, years, I don't know when, whenever it d comes out. There, there you go. There's your answer. Whenever it comes out. We're going to intrude ourselves real quick, though, and stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. I said stop running. I said stop running. What did I press to do that? Hello? Stop running. Um, stop running there we go did i fix it okay we're good all right uh did i i broke my oh my god dang it all right well i'm gonna go ahead and fix this this issue real quick and i'll be right back all right so i went ahead and i spawned in the uh the jet ski here so here it is uh, i'm not really gonna go in the water with it nothing really too crazy going on here but uh yeah that's the jet ski uh nothing too too crazy uh Let's go ahead and come over to the arsenal real quick and uh, check out the RPG. I think I need to grab ammo for it. So yeah, this is the RPG, as you can tell. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, not going to lie, it's actually really cool. Uh, we also have a new pistol. Uh, nothing really too, too crazy going on over here as well. Let's go ahead and check that out with some ammo. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the RPG first, though, because that's what everyone's probably been waiting for. So we'll go ahead and take this out. And uh, let's try shooting that tower up there. Let's see if I can hit the tower. Okay, so I hit the tower, no problem. That was pretty easy. I want to try, let's try to hit this jet ski. I was trying to hit the jet ski a second ago and I completely failed. So I think we need to aim like right there. Did we hit it? Nope, did not hit it. Uh, did we hit it there? Nope, did not hit it there either. Okay, well we can't hit the jet ski. Let's go ahead and take out the uh, PM9 millimeter and try shooting it uh okay this is kind of just seems like a reskin of the po97 or something just a new gun same uh exact handling line or whatever for the weapon whatever you want to call it but let's try firing as fast as we can yeah i have a really fast trigger finger and that is shooting nowhere near as fast as it should be so yeah that pistol sucks but um yeah i think that's gonna be about it. I don't think I missed anything. We'll just go ahead and check real quick. Uh, see if there's any other vehicles in here that I missed. I don't think. Why am I looking up there? We need to look down here. Oh, yeah. A police car. We'll just go ahead and check this out real quick. Uh, we have nothing really too crazy here. It's just the standard Islander police car thing or whatever. It's just an off-road with a light bar on and a different texture. But uh, we can obviously go beacons on and it has garbage effects, but whatever. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I think we covered all the clothes. We covered everything like that. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like rating down below. It really helps me out. Um, if you want to see more of the video, or more, more of the video, more of, more content just like it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You'll get notified, and it also helps me out at the same time. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you have any suggestions, just go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Other than that, guys, uh, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.